Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. Now look, this is gonna be the most important video that you watch. Make sure to send this video to a friend who can't shoot, which is everyone. I'm gonna be giving y'all the best jump shots for all height, all ratings, all builds, all archetypes, all play style in the game. I'm gonna be giving y'all the best tips in the game to become a consistent shooter. I shoot 61% three. I talked to a lot of, you know, go to 2K players. Last year, I shot 75% from three, and I have a 95 win percent plus every year, man, okay? If you guys learn how to shoot, you will have way more fun on the game, guys. You'll automatically become better than 70% of people on the game you learn how to shoot, literally. Now look, this is an excellent jump shot for the big man builds all around. It got everything. When I use this jumper, it seemed like it got a super big green window. It's easy to time. Look at the release cue. It's looking like this is top tier along with that Isaac for the super 610 plus build. And make sure y'all subscribe if y'all want more immaculate tips like that. Now me personally, this is my favorite favorite jump shot for the little builds, right? I like it more than Cam Thomas. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Y'all let me know. But this is my favorite jumper so far for the little build. Seem like it's easy to time. It got a great green window. Look, see? Got that nice flick. You know, it's just right there. It's right there. You know, it seemed easy, though. Here's another alternate reality version, a faster version. You into that. You know, 2K Lab dropped a bid saying, you know, you tick down your speed. Could be better. Well, they did say normal and then max, you know. Eh. Now, this is for 6.5 plus. This seemed like it got a good big green window, too, man. I was using it. It seemed pretty easy to hit with. Look at Look. Hella easy, dog. Got the height, everything. And then, you know, it's just not bad with the stability. None of that. Feel me? It's just right there. It's hella easy. Here's the old, here's the alternate reality version. You want a little bit more speed up on you. Here's another top tier 6'5 plus jump shot. Even for locks, whatever the hell you got. Look, only need an 83, dog. 83. And I'm sure even without these leases, you might be able to get it lower. I'm not too sure on that. But it's got a stupid high green window, right? It's the faster version. Got the high release speed. Shoot over people. Hella easy look hella easy to see like stupid easy here's a slower alternate reality now look this is a normal release speed right but look you still got the a plus now 2k lab they said the normal the bigger make percent overall now you got two versions right so i mean you could try this by the way guy pro tip if you aren't too good slow down your jump shot speed that'll make it easier for you to shoot okay now scotty's a nice uh jump shot you could tick it down crazy even for y'all little builds like y'all are struggling to shoot try to have you know try it out bro everything's open anyway you gotta hit your shot now Jared culver is the truth it is the best jump shot for taller iso builds hoppers all that man someone's struggling give them this jump shot it is the baby Team. Well, actually, it's the alternate reality team. T Mac not in the game yet. So yeah, struggling. Rock this jump. This Scotty, super elite. Even the uh the J Tay Tyson guy. Those are all the elite ones for 6'5 plus. Not gonna get no better than that. Here's another alternate reality, you know, with less release height. Here's another good jumper. You ain't got too much height on it, but it seemed very easy to time. You know, just look at it. You know, you struggling, you know. Try this one out. But I think those other ones are this. It seemed cool. It's slower. Might be easier to time, huh? You know, the Tyson. You know, this is one of the goaded jump shots. Very easy to time. Look, for the super big guy, okay? This is your bread and butter. That and the other one I showed y'all at the beginning of the video, these are the jump shots you want to use as a 6'10 plus, okay? Got that. Already 6'10 plus the crazy release height. You're him. Now look, if your goofy self went and made a super low midi or three point, put on the Andre Drummond, man. Y'all be like, guys, ratings. Guys, don't make builds with a super low midi or three point. This is a new world, a new era. There's no point to make an inside unless you know how to cheese in the paint every play, bro, and make the score. If not, you're clogging up the paint, especially if you play with rent. You're tripping. But yeah, this is for you guys. Andre Drummond, Cam Thomas, this and Kyrie, I think are the best for little guards. Ah, damn. This is the baby T-Mac for the little builds. Try it out, man. Super top tier. Now, look, here the, here the my career method real quick, right? Look, bro, all you're going to want to do is put the game mode on rookie, right? And then you're just going to catch and shoot and shoot right over them. Go to your spot that you want the hot spots. Put it on five-minute quarters, or you can put it on whatever minutes you want, and you can get all your hot spots. Do not play online until you get your hot spots. Then you go to lethal after you get your hot spots. Every three-point zone, get your hot spots. Look, it's very simple, man. You don't even got to dribble. You don't got to do nothing. Just look. Just shoot it green, and you can just keep doing that. You can stay down there. Look, 
the shoot it don't matter it's on rookie they're not going to contest you even if you go down there just shoot the ball shoot 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 get your hot spots though same with the midi you could do a screen fade Get your hot spots, okay? Tell your friends also, don't play online unless you get your hot spots. I would say over 60, 70% of the community doesn't have their hot spots and they're playing online. Bro. Get your hot spots, bro. Get your lethals, man. It's just lazy, bro. It's so important. Before we get into the rest of the tips, 2K Tuts did a test with a modded controller, right? He tested out low risk, normal risk, high risk. So as you can see, high risk with, you know, between these, get, you're hitting at a higher percent, right? 80, 50, six this you're not gonna hit as high but it's almost there right and then low risk it's a little lower than this one right then when you get to here right low risk you know it's eh. and it's like eh. but then look you hitting at a higher clip than the high risk and like the bottom tier you really can't time your shot look you can but look for the high risk you really missing it right so look Here's what I recommend. Of course, I'd say high risk. If you're decent at the game, you could really time your stuff and all that. But if you're pretty horrible and you're more averages, you can try out the normal, man. And you could be Gucci. But if you, you know, you somewhat with it, I would say go high risk, bro. But um, if you're like lagging, you're some foreigner and you got horrible internet, you can't get a LAN cable, you're always spiking, put on low risk, man. I mean, they letting it come on in the game. You could shoot 50%, you time it perfect. And then it's like way bigger. He did a chart basically showing like the green window. So like, you know, your range is like this, but it's like random when you gonna make it, you know? And you know, green is like you supposed to make it most of the time, but yeah. So 2K Tuts did another video, you know, 2K should actually be showing y'all this and he shows you the damn release points in this hole you know this is when you should be releasing it for jump off of what he's saying this is when you should be releasing it from set point and this is when you should be releasing it from push and then release is right here i prefer a release now look 2k lab put out a video you know with a modded controllers testing out button versus rhythm shooting and you can see rhythm shooting is way better i mean if you can get that in your game and throw it in every now and then do it you have way less room for error a you know bigger green window and yeah even with the normal you can miss time it and make it sometimes so it's kind of crazy now, even in my other videos i've been telling y'all about set shot specialist right 2k lab did a video right basically make sure you get this at least gold in some way either with your max plus one or getting the 89 midi or three point and you will be able to shoot much easier you should only have it with these you're some type of god right and you're really trying to tap into something else but if you know there's a lot of lag latency you want to deal with less of that you got to be gold plus okay he's saying this is the benefit you're gonna see if you invest more into it and all this and that this is the badge y'all need it's not just spot ups um any shot that's not fading it pops up okay you stop and shoot here's the limitless range y'all want to invest in it but hey. you should be playing on a monitor okay i know it sounds dumb but there's a lot of old heads in this world y'all gotta share this video you need to be playing on a monitor with all games there's a delay you're playing on some big 60 inch there's a delay it might look better or whatever but it's a bigger delay you need to be playing on a monitor like the benq asic whatever asic whatever it's called okay you need to be playing on a monitor i think i switched in like 2k 18 or something you know i was still a god at shooting back then but i don't know but y'all are even more delayed on a super del delayed game secondly very this is very important very, bro it's so important that i can't even explain you need to be making sure that you are ethernet cable from your playstation into your router that is fundamental to playing online games or you're going to be delayed you're going to get way more lag spikes etc need the ethernet cable there are super long ones you have to get it if your mama don't want you to do it or whatever you're going to have to find a way to get your own internet in your room you have to do it okay or you will um be very unhappy now you don't gotta hardwire your controller there's actually videos out there saying you get less of a delay with your controller unplugged for the ps5 for some you can look it up yourself ps4 wasn't like that i'm pretty sure but for some reason for the ps5 if you play without it plugged in you get less delay i don't know but one thing for sure that i want to tell y'all is make sure you always play either without your controller plugged in or with your controller plugged in because they're two different delays it's just like when, when you play in the rec versus the park they're two different lag delays latencies and lag spikes when you do it with you're adding a different factor so when your controller start to die you plug it in you're gonna notice that it, it just seemed different or you're just starting to miss but trigger effect this is very important please guys please send this video to your friends when i play with randoms especially
especially the old heads, dog. That you hear it. You hear it, bro. That's all you hear in their controller. <laughs> bro, you can't play like that. It's disrupting you, okay? This is okay. But the trigger effect is in... Bro, you gotta... You know, you got something tripping in your hand, bro. How can you play? You know, just when dribble... It's gonna, it's gonna intimidate you. You're gonna mess up your shots. It's Turn it off, guys. Okay? Now, look. Your shot timing profile. Put it here, okay? Either here or here. You can start off here. This description, it says similar to previous 2Ks, but according to 2K, uh, 2K Lab chart, that's not true because that doesn't represent those 2Ks or I don't I don't know. Look, bro, 2K makes it to where you have to have shooting boost to be able to shoot consistent. I know it costs VC, but if you want to shoot as good as you can, you got to buy the uh, the shooting boost, bro. That That's just how it is. And it got to do with your Gatorade, so make sure you're doing your Gatorade drills and all that, man. And I think you even get a discount unless they took it out this year but gotta have jump shot boost and some form of gatorade so you know you have a bigger stamina meter and all this and that while you're moving around you shoot the ball hey you don't need all of them but you need some of them especially if you're a guard they make you pay to play to uh be consistent in the game if you can manage without it rock with it but that's just how it be now secondly before you play online okay this is very important you want to get your hot spots i'm pretty sure before you even go get your lethal zones i'm gonna show y'all where that is and everything get your hot spots first someone clarify down below but get your red spots first and then go do your lethals because last year they had it to where say you went in there and you didn't even have a hot spot and you did your lethals it wouldn't go to purple so and you get to get three purples for three weeks i believe so unless someone says something down below make sure you get your hot spots red before you go get your lethals don't play online unless you get your hot zones guys listen don't play online unless you get your hot zones you will miss it it don't even matter if you have your bad you need your hot zones okay every 2k it's so important tell your friends people don't know this on all your builds you need your hot zones, okay? You need your hot zones. Now, it could, you could get them through the My Career 12 minutes, lowest difficult, right? Or I'm gonna show you all these courts. Now, look, to get your hot zones pretty easy, you're gonna wanna go to the Temple or the Dooms, okay? Look, let me show you. Wait, hold on. Where, where that? Where that? The Dooms, okay? Dooms or the Temple. It's right here, okay? Or you could do the My Career lowest difficulty. Y'all let me know which is easiest so far. Look, right here, you got the board, these people. This is where you're going to do it at, man. And a lot of your shots are going to be with this badge, too. You need to get this up. Art of Shooting Gym. This is where you're going to want to go to get your purples. Get your reds first. Get your red hot zones first. You're going to go in here. It looked clean. It looked clean. I don't know if it's just because it's new or what. It looked clean to me. Feel me? You know, you know what? We don't. We don't look kind of clean. But make sure you learn your shot before you actually attempt this. I hear the Gatorade drills closing app is patched. Someone let me know down below. I don't know. Because y'all know if you mess up, you could close app. I don't know if you could close app on this. Like if you, you're starting to mess up. So, you know, figure that out. Let 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 me know so I can let everybody else know. So, you know, we can have more fun on the game. Now, of course, you want to have no shot meter. You get a 20% boost to your green window. That's what they say. It's way easier to shoot without it. Just do it. I don't care. It don't help you guys. Just do it, bro. Trust me. Now, look some people in previous 2ks you know y'all know having all this stuff on and off look you could take off a lot of stuff the green release animations you could take it all off if you know some people believe that adds latency and lag to your player you know so you could take off a lot of these things no ball trail a lot of people shoot way better without the ball trail so you know you can have this type of stuff off even when it comes to the feedback some people have it off i always keep it on but some people turn this off and they say they shoot better so if you're really struggling or you're really delayed or laggy and you know, you, I mean, you could test this out, see if it helped, but you know, that's just a method. Anywho, click the video on the screen. Yeah, uh, a dribble hot. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.